Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I teach you how to create really cool and smooth hair animation with using Octana Render. So firstly guys, I take object like Taurus and I go to display, select odd shading lines and now I increase segments. Guys, ring segments I take 100 and pipe segments I take like 50. Yeah. Okay, so guys, now I create simple animation. So select the stores and right click. I go to Cinema 4D tag and take Vibrator tag, this one. Yes, and enable position check. Guys, all amplitude I take like 100 and 100. Yeah, and frequency I take 0 0.2. Yes, and guys, enable rotation check and amplitude randomly like 180. And second one like 360 and third one I take like 180 and frequency I take simple 0 0.2 yeah and see it I take one and go to back and play guys I change again see it yes see guys right okay so guys now I increase frame like 500 is good and go to back and play yes guys that's my simple movement animation and rotation yes okay so guys now I apply hair object on torus so select this torus and I go to simulate and use hair object yes and again play yes See guys, that's my simple animation, right? Okay, so guys, now I change firstly gravity. So select this here and I go to force and gravity I take like zero. Gravity I take zero and again go to back and play. Yes, this one is much better. Right, see guys. Okay, so guys, now I change here setting. So firstly, one I use Octana live window and go on here and apply my right side. So increase size and like this. Yes, and click on here. Yes, see guys, that's my object. And now guys, I change here material object. So select this here material and double click on this material guys I go to scale size and scale size check and scale size variation I take like 10 and I go to phrase phrase and phrase size I take like 10 yeah and go to king and king guys I take like I take 20 is good yes and guys go to band tool actually that's only band and curl check and curl I take like 20 yeah right see guys that's my hair object material so close yes and now guys I increase count so go on here and up I go to here and guys see that's only 5000 and now I increase frame actually count count I take like 20,000 yes right that's good and play see guys yes very nice and now guys i create material for background and use background material and so firstly guys i create background so increase this cube size and guys i also take camera camera check and uncheck and increase size yes guys delete some part so make editable this cube click on here and select polygon and select this one delete yes and guys now create smoothness so select this edge and right click and take bevel and bevel extrude increase yes and subdivision also yeah right see okay so guys increase size 
like this simple and this one also yes see guys that's my background is complete and now i create background material and here object material so i go on create and take shader and take octana material and double click on this material guys i go to diffuse and color i take blue color and color code is 270 and 70 and 70 actually h i take like 200 is good yeah this one is material is better for me press ok yes and see guys that's my material so close and apply on background yes right now guys i increase smoothness background smoothness so use subdivision surface and select this cube and make challenge subdivision surface yes and go to camera yes okay so guys now i also apply light so i go to object and take octana area light yes that's my front light and go to back yes simple and again go to again back and guys one more light and guys this time that's my left side light and rotate minus 90 degree and again rotate yes go to back yeah right see guys that's my light and create one more light and rotate 90 degree go on here and one more time rotate yes that's my light so again go to camera okay so guys select this background and little bit up guys i go to front view panel yes right okay so guys now i use also sdr environment so select this object and take sdr environment yes see guys that's my very good okay so guys also create material for this hair object so open and guys i go to texture and take this time i take gradient and click on gradient so guys open first checker box open and this time i take rgb color this one and the color code is r i take 221 and guys g i take 94 and guys b i take 137 yes guys i create like pink color light pink color and open second checker box and again change color r i take 247 and g i take 187 and last one b i take 151 yes and press ok and see guys that's my hair object material so go on gradient click and guys interpolation i take none yes and position for open second checker box change position and position i take like 50 yes right and right click i take double note and one more time double note and last time double note and see guys that's my position and position should be 6.25 percent yes so guys go to back yes but guys that's not looking so good material i create more lighting like saturation increase so again go to texture and this time i take filter and click filter and guys saturation i take like 30 and lighting lights i take like 10 yeah this one is much better so close apply on torus and same on hair object yes see guys that's my hair object and now i change this one i take pt yes and go to closer yes right okay so guys i change here setting so go on here and guys i increase count count i take like 50000 but guys 
this time it take too much time for rendering and segments it should be like 20 so increase size go to up and little bit back yes See guys, now my hair object, it's really smooth. So closer, I show you. See guys, now it's really smooth, right? It's really good. Guys, I change one more setting on here. So select this here and guys force it zero and dynamic actually here I take 50,000 segments 20 and guys length little bit decrease like it is good. Yes. Right. Okay. So guys now is good and little bit back. Yes. Right. Okay, so guys, now I go on render setting, click on here and render, I take Octana render and guys go to here and all use GPU check. Yes, guys, I go to save and desktop, you can create new folder. Take any file name. Yes, guys, output use all frame, that's it. So close, yes. And guys see that's my all render settings right i take three type of lighting and use sdr sky guys you can increase more lighting on sky i take like power 1.5 like yes for lighting right okay so so guys now I change render setting, click on here, setting, and guys, max time decrease. I take like 512. Yes, and okay, that's it, guys. Guys, I go on here, natural response check, that's it. So close and render. Right, okay, so guys, that's it. It's my simple and really smooth hair object animation is finished. So if you like my video, please share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.